Hi everyone, this is Yushwant Rakesh and I am here to explain about the use of biotechnology in modern day agriculture. What is agricultural biotechnology? It is also called as agritech and is an area of agricultural science which involves genetic engineering, molecular markers, molecular diagnostics, vaccines and tissue culture to modify plants, animals and microorganisms. To modify plants, we use crop biotechnology which is a major aspect of agricultural biotechnology. How do we do crop biotechnology? We take two breeds of crops and crossbreed them with each other to obtain desirable characteristics such as flavor, color, growth rate, size of harvested products, etc. How did biotechnology originate in agriculture? Since tens and thousands of years, Farmers have manipulated plants and animals through selective breeding to obtain desirable characteristics. Since the 20th century, the surge in technology led many farmers to use agricultural biotechnology to obtain desirable characteristics such as increased yield, pest resistance, drought resistance, etc. In 1990, the first good product produced through biotechnology was sold in global markets and in 2003, 7 million farmers are utilizing biotechnology and its crops. More than 85% of these farmers are in developing countries such as India and China. I'm going to take you through the various crop modification techniques in agricultural biotechnology. They are traditional breeding, metagenesis, polyploidy, protoplast fusion, RNA interference, transgenics, and genome editing. What is traditional breeding? It has been used for centuries to improve the crop's quality and yield. Pollen from the male part of one plant is placed on the female part of the other. It leads to a formation of a hybrid variety that contains genetic information from both the parent plants. The picture that you see on the screen is the honeycrisp apple which has extreme sweetness and crispness which is due to crossbreeding. What is mutagenesis? Scientists induce mutations within the DNA of plants. This process uses radiation to get the desired characteristics. Mutating chemicals include ethyl methane sulfonyl. Ruby red grapefruits, as shown in the picture, are produced using mutagenesis. Next up, polyploidy. What is polyploidy? It is used to modify the number of chromosomes in a crop to increase its size and improve its fertility rate. Most of us don't like seeds and fruits, right? So scientists have come up with a way to produce seedless watermelons through polyploidy. I'm going to give you a brief overview of protoplast fusion. It is the process of joining cells or cell components to transfer traits within species. Traits are transferred from radishes to red cabbages by this process to produce hybrid crops. The picture that you see on your screen is called as the RNA or ribonucleic acid. What do you mean by RNA interference? It's basically interfering with the RNA. RNA interference is the process in which a cell's RNA to protein mechanism is turned down or completely off in order to suppress or silence the genes. This method of genetic modification works by interfering with messenger RNA to stop the production of proteins effectively silencing the gene. What is transgenics? Transgenic involves the insertion of one piece of DNA into another organism's DNA in order to introduce new genes into the original organism. This addition of genes into an organism's genetic material creates a new variety with desired characteristics. The DNA must be prepared and packaged carefully in a test tube and then inserted into the new organism. New genetic information can be inserted with the help of biolistics. The picture on the screen is called as the rainbow papaya, which is modified with a gene that gives its resistance to the papaya rainspot virus. What is genome editing? Genome editing is the use of an enzyme system to modify the DNA directly within the cell. Genome editing is used to develop herbicide resistant canola to help farmers control weeds and protect their crops. What are the advantages of agricultural biotechnology? Agricultural biotechnology has been used to improve the nutritional content of a variety of crops to meet the needs of the world's increasing population. Genetic engineering can produce crops with a higher concentration 
of the lemons. Golden rice, shown in the picture, allows plants to produce compounds that are converted into vitamin E in which enters the body. This nutritionally impure rice helps us to combat the world's leading cause of blindness, that is, vitamin E deficiency. Why do we use biotechnology in agriculture? There are four main reasons for that. Insect resistance, herbicide tolerance, disease resistance, and temperature tolerance. What is insect resistance? This trait increases a crop's resistance to pests and allows for a higher yield. Bacillus thuringiensis is a type of bacteria that produces insect repelling proteins that are non-harmful to humans. The genes responsible for this insect resistance have been isolated and introduced into many crops. Wheaty corn and cotton are now commonplace and are available everywhere and cowpeas, sunflower, etc. are all being studied in relation to Wheaty crops. Herbicide tolerance. Weeds have proven to be an issue for two farmers for thousands of years. They compete for nutrients, water, sunlight, and food deadly to crops. Biotechnology has offered a solution in the form of herbicide tolerance. Chemical herbicides are sprayed directly on plants in order to kill weeds and protect their crops. Next up, disease resistance. Crops are afflicted by diseases that are spread by insects. The field of agricultural biotechnology has discovered a solution to this crisis. Cassava, maize, etc. can be considered developing GE disease resistant crops. This is because biotechnology has inserted genes in them which are resistant against viruses and other diseases. Temperature tolerance. In order to maximize yield and prevent crop death, genes can be engineered and help to regulate cold and heat tolerance. For example, papaya trees have been genetically modified in order to be more tolerant of hot and cold conditions. Soybeans, corn, canola, what do all these have in common? These are the BT crops that the USDA has approved for use. BT cotton is the only crop that is available for use in India as an agricultural biotechnology crop, but it is a very popular crop because in 2014, Indian and Chinese farmers planted more than 150 lakh hectares of BT cotton. A brief summary of the presentation. What is agricultural biotechnology? History of biotechnology in agriculture. Various crop modification techniques. Advantages of agricultural biotechnology. Overview of the advantages. Common GMO crops. I used Wikipedia, Google Images, FDA.gov and USDA.gov for my presentation. And thank you so much for watching this video.